Yeah, last Friday of the month, 5.30, meet me there. I Nobody's was, uh, here. Attendance two. What has happened to critical mass? Portland, Oregon. Famous for organic produce, craft beer, gourmet food and coffee, a mild climate, local music, a do-it-yourself spirit, progressive city planning, public transportation, and an environmentalist ethos. Over 20,000 Portlanders, that's about 6% of the population, commute by bicycle. In some neighborhoods, more than 20% of residents use a bike at least some of the time. Over 20,000 bicyclists a day cross the bridges in the center of the city. New bike infrastructure appears virtually every week. Bicycling Magazine and the League of American Bicyclists have both declared Portland to be the best city to ride a bicycle in the United States. Life in Portland makes it easy to go without a car. Over 700 miles of bike paths, 76 miles of off-street paths, efficient land use planning, and a friendly atmosphere create a feeling of safety and joy on two wheels. By 2005, so many Portlanders had given up their cars that the city reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 12.5% while they increased by the same amount in the rest of the U.S. In the last 10 years, Portland has become world-renowned for its bicycle culture, from the annual two-week-long Pedalpalooza Festival of Bike Fun, to Zoo Bomb, to Breakfast on the Bridges, to Mini Bike Winter, to Tall Bike Jousting. Bike Fun in Portland never sleeps. The number of Portlanders riding bikes grows daily, but where did all these bicyclists come and from? So Bike Fest was this day closure of the Burnside Bridge where we brought in national acts, built a stage overnight, and we did that three years running. Basically governments would just say, well, bicyclists could ride over there on the next street. Or no one's riding a bike now, so why should we put a bike lane in? In 1972, the plan appeared to be a done deal. It had the full support of the government and business community. But as construction began and houses were torn down, voices of opposition arose with a different vision for the future of our city's neighborhoods. The parking lid in downtown Portland that capped the number of parking spaces, the conversion of uh, NATO Parkway, part of NATO Parkway into Waterfront Park, the transformation of Pioneer Square uh, into what it is now from a parking garage, the, the real pressure in putting in transit. So there was a lot of stuff that was already happening and bicycling became another layer added on to all that good stuff that was already happening. The organized business associations were uh, generally resistant. Yeah, critical mass was a big deal because not only did it help um, make the policy point but it retrained the police bureau. The discovery pro uh, process allowed us to go examine the confidential police files and we found that they had confidential informants from about the second or third ride. And every ride this confidential informant would make something up. What you had is you had a certain group of, of bicyclists that were uh, acting out and, and acting like an animal. It takes a while for sort of the, the common cultural understanding to catch up with something that's been going on for several years. The bike is a, is a familiar and preferred form of transportation for a lot of people, and even the non-bikers understand that. And that's a different world than it was in the mid-90s. 